What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here and I'm coming at you with another entry of the June Vlog Challenge. This is entry number 14. So that is June 14th, 2018. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody had a great day. I just, I gotta start off with this. Uh, yesterday, uh, our roommate Jess introduced us to the game Progressive Rummy, which is pretty much like phase 10 on crack. So, today, I'm just for proof. First column's me, second column's Jess, third column's Jocelyn. Look at that. The, the, the goal is to get as many points as you can. So, 425, Jess got 25, and Jocelyn got 85. So, I ran away. I said it was a landslide. I said this is Ronald Reagan's re-election. That's how bad it was. Because I think Ronald Reagan carried 48 or 49 of the 50 states, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So that was like, I said, that's a landslide because I beat Jess by 400 points. Boom. So Jess, thank you for introducing me to a great game that I'm actually good at. So that game is probably the best game I've ever done. So I have to gloat. I'm sorry, girls, but there, that's, that's just the way it is. And so now that that's said and done, I want to wish y'all a happy National Flag Day. This is National Flag Day for my United States piglets. And just never forget what that flag stands for. And when it waves, just think of all the men and women that have sacrificed their lives, not only here at home, but overseas to make that flag what it is. And that is beautiful. That is patriotic. That is America. So now that I got off my political soapbox there, like I sound like a politician, I am not a crook. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, of Richard Nixon. I am not a crook. That was a terrible Nixon impression, probably. I don't know. Um, uh, and also the song that got stuck in my head today was an Anarchy Club song, which it's, the German translation is Forever Lost, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it in German. It's like fur, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. So there you go, it's uh, Anarchy Club finally making its way on the list. I knew it was eventually gonna happen. Anarchy Club is one of my favorite bands. And I was actually looking on YouTube to see if I had any like live footage of Anarchy Club. They don't have any live performances or anything like that. And I know Anarchy Club is just two guys, but they, they used to go on tour like back in the early 2000s. So there are no clips of these guys. It's kind of like, why are there any clips of these guys? Because the the two guys, um, I can't even remember their names. They, I know one of them does guitar and lead vocals and uh, everything else. And then they have a guy that does drums. So the, the, the vocalist also does vocals, guitar, bass, and like any keyboard, anything that goes on the background. And then the drummer does like backing vocals if they need it. And drumming so there's that anarchy club uh, was one of those uh, guitar hero bands when the first guitar hero came out behind the mask was one of those uh dlc you know end game purchases instead of the microtransaction that's all the bullshit phase today um the 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 game is i think one of the first game the first songs that you can buy uh after you've completed set list and you get money then you can go buy uh, certain songs you can buy that one uh, Thunder Horse by Death Clock, Jordan by Buckethead, Mr. Fix It, and I can't remember who sings Mr. Fix It, but there's just a, a, a wide variety of songs that you can buy as like in-game purchases, and that was like the first one I ever got, and I fell in love with the song uh, Behind the Mask, which is the chorus is, I'm a, I'm a winter breeze in summertime. That just sounds awesome. World is looking up just fine. Looking day and living night. I'm all right. Love it. Absolutely love it. And... So that, that, that's, uh, not much happened today. Uh, I got to, uh, I applied at another uh, local job. Or not, it's not local, it's actually a national job uh, for an electri electrical company, electrician company. It's not electrician. Uh, electric, like, you know, that runs like the city electricity and stuff. It's called XL. Applied for that today. Hopefully I can get that job because, like, they are hiring left and right. So there, there should be a way for me to get in. There's uh, three positions available, uh, and I applied for one of them, but the other two was like electrician's apprentice, which I mean is fine and all, but I mean, 
I'm no electrician. I will electrocute myself nine ways to Sunday. All day, every day. And then the other one was like a journeyman mechanic. And I was like, nah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do the uh, call center and see if I can do like a like, customer and representative. So that's what I signed up for, and hopefully I can get it because it's exact. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the exact same hours my wife works, and that is obviously Monday through Friday, eight hours a week or eight hours a day. Eight hours a week—that would be shit. Eight hours a day, forty hours a week, and they ask you to work at least one Saturday per month, and that means you're getting overtime every single month which accumulates fantastically. So, hope hopefully that'll happen. I don't know. Like I I just feel so hopeless right now cuz I'm applying for everything under the sun and nothing seems to be working, but that's okay. Um we got Jess cooking tonight. She's cooking some uh it's called a uh, campfire stew. It's called campfire stew. It sounds awesome. It has uh, potatoes, ground beef, um potatoes, ground beef, onions, and we're supposed to have corn in it, but she didn't get corn. So I don't know if she's gonna substitute that for anything. So, but it sounds fantastic. It's a recipe from her grandfather. So she uh, offered to cook tonight. We're like, okay. So today I went and ate lunch with my grandmother at a local restaurant called Jorge's. If you guys are ever in Amarillo, try Jorge's. It's good Tex-Mex. And my dad works there. So ask for my dad, just say, uh, I wanna speak to Jay. And, uh, or I want I want Jay to be my, my server. and go tip my dad and, and, and be nice to him. Uh, he'll probably be nice to you if you were nice to him. <laughs> so there we go. And the um, it, the th cool thing was I got to see my sister Jacqueline today, which I, I don't get to see much of her these days. It's because she's working all the damn time. And plus, you know, I'm uh, busy doing nothing here. But while I'm doing nothing here, she's working. And by the time Jocelyn gets home, Jacqueline's home so I don't get to see her very often but I got to see her today and she seemed to be in a very good mood today because she uh, complimented my wife's hair which that is a feat for Jacqueline to say something nice about anybody but herself or her kid <laughs> I love Lot to death though uh, and we might actually be talking about going hopefully uh, next year around either spring break or Christmas because we don't want to go during the summer next year hopefully going to Disney World slash Universal Studios um, because last time we went I was a kid I think it was 05, 06 I think it was 05 last time we went was 05 and I mean and I, before that I went in 2001 and it was crazy though because it was actually like two months I think before 9-11 happened so that was that's crazy to think about that just two months later after you know traveling by plane something like that would happen but that's 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 neither here nor there and I was little 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 I think I was eight I think it was eight eight at the time and then we went back in 2005 which I was told by people that Disney World is one of those things that you go to once every decade instead of like you know don't make it like a yearly or you know bi yearly or anything like that you're supposed to go once every 10 years so it just felt like just a rehashed vacation where we did everything. We did the same things. We saw the same attractions. Went here. Like the exact same days we did. Uh, like the itinerary was the exact same for both trips. So um, so I haven't been since 05. So that has been 13 years. So let's go back. Let's go back. And then uh, also my wife has never been. So if we can get her to go to Disney World as well as Universal Studios because that's where Harry Potter World is. And I want to go back to uh, Disney World because they not only added a uh, like a Toy Story Pixar section, they also have the Star Wars section, which wasn't there. But last time we went there, it was during the Star Wars celebration, so they had like stormtroopers and stuff like that walking around. But now it's like legit canon. Like Disney has Star Wars, so they have like a Star Wars exhibit and everything. So I am interested to see that. I am very excited. If this does go through and it doesn't falter I'm gonna be so happy and hopefully I'll have money to do the things that I want when we get there so if my baby wants a fast pass to you know get through a ride we'll go get a fast pass you know if she wants to go to Epcot while well, my family wants to go to like MGM we'll go to freaking Epcot if she wants to go to downtown Disney while well, my family is at Universal Studios we'll go to fucking downtown Disney so and uh, I think I just dropped my first fuck of the uh, live stream so go figure um what else is there to talk about? What else is there to talk about? Oh, um, one thing I wanted to talk about is uh, I'm calling out a sports reporter 
fuck he's ever gonna see this calling out Nick Wright and Nick Wright says that LeBron is better than Kobe Bryant and as a Black Mamba fan I grew up uh, with Kobe Bryant I think I was two when the guy got drafted by Charlotte and then we ended up acquiring him via trade I believe or they let him go I, I don't remember the specifics of the beginning but he was a Laker throughout his entire career and Nick Wright is saying that LeBron is better than Kobe and Kobe is a worse worse version of Jordan because he pretty much said that Kobe was like a um, Michael Jordan uh, like Michael Jordan copycat like he altered his game around Michael Jordan you know the, the, the killer instinct and you know everything like that and he was just talking all kinds of mad garbage on my boy Kobe and I don't appreciate that Nick right because Kobe Bryant to me you know not only nostalgia purposes but he did win us multiple championships with the Lakers and he did do his best each and every night and he actually I think I heard he might actually be making a comeback it's a rumor but it's like you know like a, a Jordan comeback where Jordan retired for a bit then he came back so maybe Kobe's gonna follow the same thing because again he's just a bad he's just a bad Michael Jordan ripoff so maybe Kobe will come back and hopefully not to a different team maybe he goes back to the Lakers and uh, definitely not ask for the money that he got when he left because his contract screwed us and that's why we're in such a bad spot right now or we were in a bad spot we're in a better spot now because we have all this cap space and you know we can go sign LeBron if we want to we can go get Paul George we can go get Chris Paul we can go get anybody that we want for a decent if not good price um, now but a few years after Kobe retired a couple years after Kobe retired he screwed our salary so bad because they still had to pay him even though he retired he was still under contract so they still had to pay him and instead of one thing about Kobe I didn't like is Kobe could have taken a pay cut so that we can get good players after he left but Kobe as much as I like him Kobe's always been about Kobe so Kobe Bryant was you know I'm the best player on this team you're gonna pay me like the best player on this team everybody else is second-class citizens which I mean, you gotta you gotta look out for number one. But when you're number one and you retire, you're kind of screwing over the team because now they can't go get number one. Uh, you're pretty much playing with second and third and even fourth, number four. You know, number one, two, three, four players instead of number one players, which was our problem. Like we try to get pieces. Like we try to get uh, what Jeremy Lin, and we try to get uh, we had Steve Nash at one point. We had. Uh, Dwight Howard, which that was a debacle. And then after Kobe left, we got uh, Brooke Lopez, and we got uh, Ron, we brought uh, Metal World Peace, Ron Artest back, and that didn't work out so well. And it just, now we can actually get players. We have Lonzo, who's up and coming. We got Kuzma, who's up and coming. And we have uh, Alex Caruso, an Aggie, Texas A&M Aggie Giggum off the bet, bench that I think is going to bode well for us. And then we do have... I want to say Brent. I keep forgetting his name. I got to look that up one of these days. Is it Brandon Ingram we still have? And he's a very good player as well. And if we get Jordan, not Jordan, imagine just getting Jordan at like, what is he, 5,000 years old? We, if we get LeBron, if we get Paul, if we get George, then, I mean, it's awesome. And then maybe we can go get like a number two or number three guy for the, the depth and for the bench and, you know, that can come off the bench and can be fantastic. Like even Ashley. Uh, and I were talking about yesterday about like the Lakers should just go get Dirk and then have Dirk come off the bench and Ash is like you're gonna get like 20 25 points a game by Dirk coming off the bench I'm like you know what I will take that but I think Dirk is gonna stay with uh, the Mavericks until the day he retires so go figure all right guys that's all I have to say today nothing else really to talk about just wanted to talk crap on uh, Nick Wright uh, to uh, Nick Wright to uh, shut his mouth and uh, to get off a uh, LeBron James's lap because that's pretty much all he is. He's LeBron James's lap dog. Like they pretty much um, first things first is pretty much a LeBron James syndicate show, and it's just bleh. it's just mm, just regurgitating is what it is. And I mean, and then I also want to talk about you know my success here and then what we're eating tonight and hopefully plans for the future with the uh, the vacation. Hopefully get another job and everything. So it was a good little episode today. Had a little melting pot of everything. Once again, happy Flag Day, and I hope you guys are having a great day, and we're going to reach 15 minutes right now. 
So there you go, guys. Thank you all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember, my little pig, let's call him Poor Chap. Loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy, guys. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.